so that everyone can join in the conversation, the transmission, elevating your word, not your voice. Allow truth to move through you, not as you. And just saying, hey, what's up, everyone on Instagram who's here with me now live? And everyone that will join in the future. <sighs> so I'm just going to say it one more time. Elevate your word, not your voice. Allow truth to move through you, not as you. So something that is very important and impactful at this moment now is our creative expression and harnessing the power of our word of our truth and doing so in a way that allows us to move mountains and transcend space and time and a big piece of that is understanding the power of our throat and I'm going to dive into a bit about the basic mechanics of our throat center that is not often spoken about. And one of those key pieces is that our throat center is the command center, is the command station. And it is like this, imagine this little round table. And on that round table is a chair for every single one of your energetic bodies. They're sitting at that round table and the throat center is sitting there as well. And its job is to essentially take all of the little voices inside of you, the voice of your root chakra and your safety and security mechanisms, the voice of your sacral center and your pleasure and your creativity, the voice of your solar plexus and your personal power, the voice of your heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown, up into your soul star, into your earth star, into the centers at your hands and feet, into all of the different energetic bodies of you. Your voice is, is essentially ensuring that there's harmonious engagement between all parts of you, all voices that are living inside of you. So it has a very important role, essentially, in, in this reality. Our throats have have a monumental task of ensuring that everything happening inside of us is in alignment with our truth. And from that perspective, when something is out of alignment, when something is, when there say is a fear in our root center that says it's not safe, it's not safe to be a human, it's not safe to, to share my truth, it's not safe to, to talk about the things that have happened to me or there is not enough, right? If there's a fear that there's not enough, and then we hold back for fear that if we speak, what we have is going to be taken from us. Or see, there is beliefs in our sacral center that has beliefs that say pleasure is bad or wrong, and it's not good or right to want pleasure and to feel that creative energy, that sexual creative spark moving through us. So these various different voices that are constantly speaking to us, oftentimes unconsciously, uh, get all, let's say, run through our throat center. They all go through our throat center, and our throat center's duty is to ensure that all of the pieces are supporting each other, so that all the stories are coming into alignment with our highest truth, and that any discrepancies, so like disagreements between what our heart knows and what our th root center knows or what our earth center knows or what our ancestors know can be navigated and um, balanced out so that we can express our truth in the world, so that we can understand what our truth is. So our throat center has such a powerful role, much more than we believe it to be. We believe it to be like the just expression of our truth. Well, our truth is so much more than what we're speaking. Our truth is not only our consciousness, it's that which is unconscious to us as well. So our truth is this this mechanism, this movement that comes through us, it's not us though. It is not uh, Jessica who's speaking this or Ahamna who's speaking this or Rainbow who's speaking this. It's none of the above, really. It is simply truth. And then the truth picks up all the filters that I as a being who believes herself to be someone has picked up along the way. 
And all of those filters then go and sit in the throat center and start to impact the way our truth is expressed in the world. So with that awareness, we'll just put that over here for a moment that we've just talked about that because we'll leave it back in through. So our spoken word in human design, for instance, manifestors, the type that are manifestors, they're defined as manifestors because they have a defined throat center connected to a motor center, which means that they have a continual axis and energy moving energy up into their throat. So they're powerful manifestors, they're powerful creators because we have come to know that our word is what creates our reality. It is sound that is doing all of this, ultimately. Sound is the core of everything. So what is our sound as human beings? Well, it is our word. It is the tone that we speak through and as. It's the words that we choose. So the importance of this conversation about our throat and about opening ourselves up to more effective communications is so much more than just living a life of confidence. It's, it's about how you harness your power to create your reality. And from that space, the words that we're choosing are constantly creating our world. And it's mirrored and reflected in that awareness where I know you all have had the experience of talking to someone about something and then it immediately showing up on your Facebook feed as an advertisement or it immediately showing up in Google as uh, like if you type in one word, say you type in your super vague word and then Google literally types out the exact thought in the search key that you had just said to someone that you were talking to in person. What that is doing is, is literally just reflecting the fact that we are creating our reality through our words and our words are immediately manifesting. And now that we have technology that is incredibly advanced, we're only going to continue to see how quickly we are able to create things. And technology is literally instantly going to reflect that back to us. And that's what's happening as you have these moments of speaking something and it literally showing up immediately after in your Facebook feed or in your Google feed or in your Twitter or Instagram or whatever it is feed that you are, are tuning into immediately after having that conversation. Maybe you say, oh man, to your partner, I really would like a massage. And then a massage therapist shows up on your feed. It's, it's the showing us through technology, this innate power that we've always had and that we always will have, it's just are we using it to the highest and best? Are we consciously going in and choosing our words, choosing to elevate our words and allow truth to move through us so that we can powerfully express and show up in the world, so that we can create the experiences that we're choosing to create? and actually see them manifest in our physical reality. So a lot of times what ends up happening when we're in this endeavor of, of changing our reality, of, of awakening our consciousness, of growing as a being, is we come to this point where maybe our manifestations are working for a short bit of time, we're doing the manifestation practices and we're practicing the law of attraction and all these other things. And then we get to this point where it stops moving. It stops stepping forward. Our, our manifestations pause. And in that pause, what we're seeing is this recalibration that's happening. It's showing us there's a part of us that's not actually in alignment with what it is we're choosing to be creating. And a lot of that comes into our tone of which we create through. Our tone is the frequency that we are creating through. So if our tone, our tone is governed in our throat center. So coming back to now that piece, I was talking about the higher role of the throat center, which is uh, essentially being like the mediator for all of the inner voices that live inside of you, all the little energy bodies, every single one of your chakras has its own consciousness, has its own little belief systems and its own little stories and its own fears about the world and about life and all the things. 
and it has a story that it's saying. So from that perspective, then what's happening in the throat as it's you know navigating all these different voices and all these different stories is a tone gets created, a frequency gets created that your words move through. And that tone is going to be masked by all of the beliefs that are in your energy body that the throat center is moving through because it takes all of those beliefs, all of those pieces of you and creates your truth. So that's super key is a lot of people will come to me with throat chakra blocks and things of this nature and will want to know how to open up their throat and really be able to express themselves and to speak their truth. And what we'll find in that journey of opening the throat is that actually it's their root center or their sacral or something down in their leg channels, ancestral, something down in their earth center from an alternative timeline or what some like to call past lifetimes that are coming in and actually still speaking the truth through your throat. And your throat is hearing that truth and thinking, oh, okay, that must be my truth. And then that layers a frequency. It, it imagine you, it's like a, a tube, right? And it layers a frequency. It, it coats it or it paints it a certain color. And that color emits a certain frequency. And that frequency becomes the tone that you're speaking through. So if the tone does not match the word, then there is going to be a distortion in your field and the word will not be able to create itself if the tone isn't in alignment and this is so important to really grasp because the law of attraction the laws of manifestation prosperity consciousness you know conscious language and conscious communication all of this is is becoming more and more and more uh, expressed and known in our reality that this is the way things are happening and there is physics there's tangible physics that show us that our sound our vibration is creating our reality so it's not only the word it's the tone that you're speaking through and this tone is shaped by all of the parts of you every single thing that's ever happened to you that has shaped a belief inside of you that is is speaking that belief in your throat center and until those beliefs if they're not in resonance vibrational resonance for the life that you are uh striving to speak into existence through your manifestation practices through working with life coaches working with mentors working with guides working with journaling and creative expression and all these modalities that we have to practice the art of creating recognizing when our tone is not going to be in alignment with what we're wanting to create and then going in and starting to um, purify those aspects of us that are holding a seat on the throat chakra uh what's the what's the word that i'm uh like Council, yeah, council, the throat chakra council of all the little governing bodies of your being that are creating your reality and creating your truth inside of you. So it's not only this practice of going into your, your truth and into your throat center to really be able to open up your expression. It's going in to every single element, every voice inside of you that is holding on to a certain belief and is speaking a certain story inside of your throat and shaping that, masking that as your truth so that we can peel off those layers and return to what I like to call our soul sound and our soul sound is our original frequency it is the frequency that our soul is able to move through our voice and out into the world and that is the frequency that allows us to be instantaneous powerful creators because that is the frequency where we are creating from we are creating from our higher spiritual bodies and our physical is catching the frequency and if it's able to hold that frequency and transmit that frequency then it'll be able to create that which that frequency is holding and moving through you if our body is not 
in alignment with that frequency, there's various stories still playing out inside of us that are then going and sitting on our throat center's council and saying, no, this is true. That's actually not safe to go and speak about this to the public, or it's not safe to uh, talk about this to anyone, or it's not safe to express this. So what do we, what happens when we have a belief that says it's not safe to speak our truth or it's not safe to express this? Well, then we speak something that is not true for us in order to keep ourselves in the illusion of being safe. So since our words create our reality, when we're speaking something that's not our truth, what are we doing? We're creating that. We then create this illusory world on top of what we truly are here to be about, what we're here to be experiencing, what we're here to be being and doing and bringing into the world and sharing with others, that all gets filtered by these false beliefs that are, that are then speaking these false stories or holding a part of the truth back so that there's a distortion in the field that doesn't allow for your highest expression to really truly manifest itself here for your genius your brilliant essence of you to shine through your vehicle so turn returning to our soul sound to the original frequency and tone of our voice is a, a, a massively auspicious point on our journey to really recognize that if we're developing ourselves, if we're seeking growth and evolution and to be a benevolent presence on this planet, then a part of that journey is really tuning into our voice and into our word and into our tone and in allowing a space within our throat so that our, our essence, our spirit can actually move through us. And it is very easy to tell when someone has awakened this within themselves. Because when you listen to them, you will feel at ease. You will feel at peace within your body. There will be a resonance with the message that's coming through. And start to pay attention to moments when people say, filler words like um when um gets said over and over again and and someone's delivering their message how does that um feel inside of your body chances are you'll notice that there is a frequency shift that happens the moment that um gets spoken and because that um is a part of the reality that's not trusting for truth to move through them so that um is creating space to find the thought to find the truth instead of just opening up and allowing truth to move through our uh, our then consciousness our energy body perceives that perceives that that grasping and feels the lack of fluidity which creates a disturbance in the energetic field that can be tangibly felt for those who are highly energetically sensitive and even for those that are energetically sensitive really observing if there is a deep sense of trust and connection with beings that are communicating to you using a lot of filler words a lot of thinking words that imply that truth is not fully expressing itself through them at this moment in time that there is still more to go and a hesitation around fully allowing truth to move through. And these are just imperative keys beyond public speaking for how we can communicate more effectively with each other because the solutions for violence on the planet and for war and hostility and aggression and, and all of these crimes against each other is really for heart is really harmonious communications is learning how to effectively communicate with each other as our true essence and at the frequency and at the tone that is this the soul light 
that opens up and allows for a higher frequency to move through because until we get into that higher frequency, we will continue to be pulled back into the collective unconscious, into the consensus of consciousness of fear. I'm gonna uh, see for a moment here, there's some questions that have come through. How do you explain when you meet someone, you feel a strange energy that doesn't resonate? When someone feels out of resonance, chances are that person potentially is just not for you to be communing with in this life, or they're out of vibration that is not in alignment with yours. We have this energetic spectrum to serve as a guide, to serve as a, a mechanism to allow us to move forward in our lives with those that we resonate with. So when you are in space with someone, you meet someone, and there's a part of you that doesn't resonate with them, and the vibration feels off, and you would need to lower your vibration in order to commune with that being or you feel that way then that is a sign that that person is someone to not commune with that wouldn't be in your highest and best to commune with that person or it is a test for you to see if you can truly hold that higher frequency without being pulled back down by the consensus consciousness that is moving through that being at a lower frequency. Because ultimately, as we go through this journey of continuing to elevate and elevate and elevate our consciousness, our tone, our frequency, our vibration, that journey will bring us moments in time to be tested by the consensus consciousness that is currently anchored in fear. And that fear vibration holds a massive web across the entire planet. As we start to go into transcending that web, raising our frequency out of it so that we can no longer be pulled back down, well, you, a person that is totally tapped into your genius and totally tapped into your purpose and allowing truth to move through you at a frequency that is resonant with love, what happens is you become a threat to the consensus consciousness that is currently rooted in fear. You, your, your beingness threatens the very existence of this consensus consciousness. So what happens is, is all of the little fear mechanisms inside of the consensus consciousness that are moving through the people around you try to grab you, try to latch onto you energetically and, and get you to realize, no, no, no. It's better to come back into the tribe and back into the fear and to stay down here. It's safe here in this mediocre, normal, social conformity world that we've created. It's safer here. Come back here. And it will attempt to energetically find any part of you that is still in resonance with fear. Usually these are unconscious parts of you that are still speaking their truth in your throat. To That is a gateway. That fear is a gateway for the consensus consciousness to move through you. Okay, so yeah, you got an open heart. It's wide open. and You're sharing your brilliant light with the world. And you're going out and you're speaking light and love and truth. Well, what happens? When there is a part of your root center or into your earth star center that hasn't yet realized it is love and allowed for truth to move through it. It's still harboring beliefs and old programs that say this is not safe here as one example or uh, this type of person is bad or wrong or whatever the belief that it's holding on to is. Then the consensus of consciousness in this fear is going to find, oh, okay, ooh, ooh, yes, down here, there's the core, there's the fear, that's the gateway. I'm going to whoop, just weasel in there. And then you start to get these thoughts, these old, outdated thoughts that start to bubble up. And you think, where do these thoughts come? I'm living through an open heart. I don't understand. And it's because 
there hasn't been a full grounding of truth, of consciousness into the core of your being, all the way down into the earth star center yet. And that type of grounding of consciousness, of truth, is a journey. <laughs> it takes continual practice and devotion to consciousness, to expansion, to truth. And continually showing up to recognize in those moments when we're in the consensus consciousness where there are parts of us that are still resonating in fear so that we can be aware of them, wise of them, and start to mutate those parts of us, transform them, raise their frequency as well so that one day there'll not be a single part of us that is in that entrainment with fear and we become completely shielded from the consensus consciousness and from that space we can truly step into our full power and a big piece of doing that is going through this inner journey of really elevating our words elevating our truth working through the parts of us that are unable to fully express because we're still holding on to these old fear-based belief systems and from that space, once we've really healed those core woundings and have awakened and elevated our word at that new frequency, your, your tone, your voice will literally change. You will notice if you have watched the videos that I speak on for the past five years since I've been sharing videos, that there is moments in time when the tone that I'm speaking through has changed. There have been significant dates and time that my tone completely went into a whole new frequency as I reclaimed the power of my truth, the power of elevating my word so that I could be creating a more harmonious world for myself that I'm able to then share with others. And this is now the medicine that I am holding and carrying and sharing with others, why people come to me with all these throat steps happening because I've discovered the basic mechanic mechanisms of this. And at all times, if you lived inside of my brain and mind, there is this, the, the best way that I can describe it, it's almost like there's a filing cabinet, though it's not filing things away. It's just, it looks like that. There's like these different, yeah, columns of energy. And as I'm speaking, there is a column of energy that's always observing the words that are being said. And any time a word comes through that is a word I've recognized as fear, as ego, as doubt, as lack, as limitation, as a, a, a dissonance with truth and I've actively gone in to dissolve those words because I know that those words are creating my reality for me. So I become very consciously aware of those types of words and because they were programmed in at such a young age and are a big part of the grammar of the world, then it becomes this journey of starting to observe and starting to watch every time that word gets used. And it's this beautiful journey. I absolutely love the way this mind is designed and how it can perceive things until there comes the moment when the mind no longer serves and we completely absolve ourselves from this reality altogether. That said, in order to get to that place within that's already there, it's already there, it's just a matter of shedding off the layers, remembering our soul sound, remembering the true nature of how energy moves through us and being able to express that out into the world, that comes through us truly claiming our creatorship, claiming our original soul sound, our voice, and beginning to unpack and shed and become wise of our words and elevate our words, elevating our words out of certain words that the consensus consciousness resonates with that are deeply programmed in fear, the ums, the buts, the filler words that are a mechanism of the consensus consciousness to instantly pull us out of 
alignment with our highest truth. And it's a level of personal mastery, really, that allows us to become powerful creators. And I'm just going to see if there's any other comments that came through. I am not in Hawaii. All right. Anyways, I love everyone who's just leaving comments on Facebook. They're not scrolling through, so just scroll through them and on Instagram here. <laughs> All right. Well, I will wrap up this transmission here in a in a brief moment. And I hope that there has been an awareness of what's happening in our throat, really understanding the basic mechanisms, the most simplified way of understanding the dynamics of what's happening inside of our throat so that we realize as we start to claim our truth and really express and allow truth to move through us, which is consciousness to move through us and out into the world so that we can create what we've come here to create. This journey is ever unfolding. And if there's one thing that's more important than a lot of other things that you might be divulging and, and going into and investing into is your word and elevating your word and harnessing the power of your throat fully opened and fully at harmony with truth moving through you. And that's ultimately one of the key pillars of the Express Your Soul course, which is unlocking the full potential and power of our truth. And I'll wrap this up with the awareness that we begin in 10 days, nine days actually now, on the 10th. And I'd love for you to join, if it resonates with you, to claim this type of mastery within your world, within your word, and powerfully express yourself here on the planet, which allows you to powerfully create. It's not only about speaking confidently it's about owning your power as a creator which comes through your word which comes through your tone which comes through your sound everything in the universe comes back to sound even light comes back to its core to be sound to be frequency so this work is is really play and it's really a abundance of all that we are and all that we're going to get to share. So I hope you'll join me. I'll drop the link in the comments for you to tune in and you can message me if you have any questions. And yes, appreciating you all for being here now with me live. And for those of you who watch this in the future, much love.